Good morning, everybody. My name is Amy Williams, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. It is February 19th, 2023, and thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited today because it is my 22nd video, and on the 22nd of February is my birthday. So I thought that was kind of cool that these kind of coincided a little bit, so that made me, that made me happy. Numbers make me happy sometimes. So, um... <clears throat> I want to welcome all of my new subscribers. I had quite a few from last week. Last week I did a circuit card, which was really cool. It had a light on it. Um, and a lot of people seem to like that. And I truly, truly appreciate you subscribing to my channel and watching and seeing what I do. Um, there's other videos. Obviously, there's 21 other videos you can look at. Um, <clears throat> And if you see anything on there that you like, you know, drop me a comment. Um, I'm always happy to help you with anything you need or today. <laughs> so um, if you want to make a comment or if you want to see any information, you can always look in the description. And sometimes that's hard to find. There's either um, right below the video a more button or three little dots. So if you'll just click that and it'll drop down a little bit and that has the description. And in there, I put a little bit about the card. I put what I've used in there. And then um, there are some links. You can link to my uh, Stampin' Up! website. And if you have a demonstrator and you see something you like today, and want something, give her a call, give him a call, that would be great. But if you don't have a demonstrator, I would be honored to be your demonstrator. And you can find my Stampin' Up! website there. Um, there's also a link for my newsletter if you'd like to know about um, specials and things like that that Stampin' Up! has. Um, I don't do something often. Um, honestly, I'm a full-time school librarian and um, that keeps me pretty busy as well. So um, I don't do them all the time. Uh, but I do do it when Stampin' Up! sales. And speaking of sales, we do have celebration till the end of this month, so we're getting close. Um, so for every $50 or $100 you spend, you can choose from a list of free products. There's a brochure, but then they added more in February. And there's some really nice stuff. There's some punches in there. Um, so um, really, really cute stuff. So if again, if you need any, any help with that, Please let me know. All right, let's flip the camera and see what we're going to do today. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, let's get this all in focus or in the thing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to, oh, well, let me show you the card. <laughs> here is the card we're going to make today. So we've got that right there. We're going to do these little flowers, and they're all punches. This is um, an embossing folder, okay? And this uses the uh, blending markers, um, so the alcohol-based markers. So that is our card today. I hope you like it. Um, I'm really excited about this one. This has been in my head for quite a while. Here's another version of it. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, cut out the outside frame okay and we're gonna that's kind of a two-step process we're gonna cut the square from the middle and then we're gonna emboss the outside okay and i want to show you before we do that the new embossing folders now on march 1st stampin up is going to have some new online exclusives and, and that means that they are only online they won't be in any catalog and once they're out of them, they're out of them. So you can't order them after that. So if you like it and you see it, I would go ahead and order that. Um, we've seen, the demonstrators have seen some of them and were able to order some of that. And these embossing folders were one of them. There were some stamp sets and dies and paper and some little um, embellishments that I'm gonna actually use today. Um, so I wanted to show you these. Um, these are, there's three of them. You can get them in a pack of three, but I also believe you can get them individually. So here they are. So let me see. Let me get my glasses on. All right. These are all 3D embossed. I'm using a piece of paper so you can kind of see what the, um, the design is. So here's this one. These are kind of uh, star-like designs. I think those are flowers. So pretty. Okay, the second one, I won't call these little bubbles. <laughs> they're just like little bubbles. I think they're adorable. And then this one reminds me of a crosshatch. Um, so that is the one we're gonna use today. So we're just, I just like that. I think these are gonna be really, really versatile. I think you'll be able to use them quite a bit. 
So let's go ahead and let me get the cut and emboss and we'll, um, I'll oh, let me show you what we're gonna do first. We're gonna cut out a rectangle from here and I am using the stitched rectangles or the rectangle stitched. I think they're called stitched rectangles in the catalog, but when I looked at my, um, when I looked at mine, it said rectangle stitch, so I don't really know what it is, but here they are. And they're really nice because there's a lot of them in there. Like there's a ton of them and they're stitched. So they're stitched on both sides. And I'll kind of show you that once I, um, once I get it cut out. All right, let me get my cut and emboss. All righty. Move this. All right, here's my cut and emboss. I'm using the larger one um, because it's kind of my go-to, but if you have a mini one, I believe these will fit in there. I, I'm pretty sure they will fit. All right, so I'm using uh, plate one, plate two, and plate three. And I have already taped this on because I wanted to kind of measure it out to try to get it as in the center as possible. So I'm gonna put this on here. I'm gonna put another plate three on top, and then I'm gonna run it through. Oh, come on, Amy. Oh, I think I'm on top of something. <laughs> All right, so there is that. You know what, I think there was something underneath that. Yep, there was, that's why it's tight. Okay, so you can see with these uh, stitched rectangles, that both of them are stitched. So this is stitched on the outside, but also the uh, one that I cut out is stitched as well. Okay, can you see that? Now, I'm gonna be honest, I am not gonna ever, I'm not gonna get rid of this. This is something I'm gonna use. Um, I'll use this later on, trust me, for another card. Now, what I wanna do is I want to, um, emboss that square. So I'm only going to need plate one and plate four. So I'm gonna put plate one here. I'm gonna put this in my embossing folder. Let me pull that up just a little bit so you can see. A little bit better, I think. Okay, sorry if that made you sick a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the embossing folder and close that up and put that right down here. And then I'm gonna put plate four on top and then I'm gonna run that through, okay? And that's gonna get the embossing done for the day. Okay, here we go. And voila, as if by magic, we have this beautifully embossed frame. I just love that cross hatch. I think I, oh, I think I will use that a lot. So I was really excited when I saw these come out. I love embossing folders. I think they really can add so much to your cards and I love that. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna color the background of the card. <clears throat> And I have a piece of paper right here, if I can get it off. Now this one is five, five by three point, uh, three and three fourths, hold on. Oh, I guess these, <coughs> excuse me, I am so sorry about that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my blending pins for this background. Now I did try using, um, uh, what was I gonna use? Um, watercoloring, but it just didn't. It just didn't do it for me. I really liked the the look of the blender pen, and that was what was in my head. And these are alcohol based markers, and I'm gonna get them out for you. I'm gonna show them what you're gonna, what you're gonna use. I've got several colors. Now, when you buy them, they come in a pack of two, so they have a light and a dark. This is flirty flamingo. Okay, this is so saffron. All right, this is. This is Granny Apple Green. There's not a pear pizzazz. So I'm using Granny Grand Apple Green, even though I'm using pear pizzazz on the card. And then I'm using Pool Party, which, ugh. Um, I'm just gonna tell you that um, Stampin' Up! is gonna do a color refresh this year. 
And um, I know that there are some colors coming back that were in color. So I, I well, I, I'm not sure if they're coming back for the refresh, but I know they are coming back for, for a time at least. That is going to be Pretty Peacock and um, Blue, Blue Lagoon, I believe. I don't know exactly what they're doing with that. They haven't told us. But um, I do believe they are doing a, a color refresh. So if there's colors that you love or, you know, would be really sad if it retired, you might want to stock up a little bit. Like I know I'm going to get some extra ones of these because mine are a little bit running out. All right, so I'm going to use the uh, light flirty flamingo first, okay? And I'm not going to start at the top. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to go pretty far across. I'm going to kind of do that. And it's funny because this one comes on pretty bright and then it settles down a little bit. The next one I'm going to use is the So Saffron Light again. And I'm going to start on top of that because I want those colors to kind of blend. And you can see, I think So Saffron is going to be one I need to buy, right? But I just want those to kind of blend. The next one I'm going to use is the Light Granny Apple Green. Okay. And I'm going to kind of go across. All right. And then I'm going to use the light pool party. Oh, I just love this color. I just think it's so pretty. And again, I'm going to kind of go over that uh, green. So there's kind of a fade. And then I'm going to take the dark um, pool party and kind of take it to the end. Okay, I'm going to cover that. Now I am, I want to make sure I've gone far enough on these. I'm going to take my frame real quick and make sure that I'm, yes, yeah, see, you can see that I might need to go a little farther, a little bit here. Okay, so I'm going to kind of do that. And then I'm going to take my lighter again and I'm going to bleed these two together a little bit more. Kind of do that. And then I'm going to take my light so saffron and I'm going to go over that green to kind of do a little more blending. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take my darker flirty flamingo and just go to the end. And you can see that that's a little darker. I want to make sure I get everything. And then again, lighter over it to do some blending. You can see how that really blends. And actually, over time, these are going to blend a little bit more. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to do our flowers next. Now, I went ahead and did some of the flowers because I didn't think you wanted to watch me do five of these flowers, curl them, and put them together. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do on this one. So I have, what I did was I took this punch, okay, and it's got three little flowers and a leaf. This punch is in our uh, mini catalog. And I'm going to get a piece of paper. Actually, here's the one I used. <laughs> I just punched them all out. And then I needed extra leaves, so I just kept punching on the edge because I am, I'm going to use all this paper I can. I don't want to waste. And so all you do is you just stick it in here. And I always turn it over because I want to, I want to see, so I want to get as close as I can. And then you're going to, you're going to punch it and it's kind of a little pop. So, but you can see like on that, like that, if I wanted an extra leaf right there, if I wanted to get an extra leaf. I just stuck it back in there and I did another punch to get that leaf that kind of just went like that, but there. So that's kind of how I did that. Um, but I did quite a few, but I didn't think anybody wanted to watch me do a whole bunch of punching. I didn't think that sounded all that fun. I figured you could figure that part out after you saw me do it. Okay, so I'm using all three pieces on these except for one of the blue. And now, if you want to kind of st skip this step 
and punch it out in colors. You can absolutely do that. I wanted the variation in color that this would bring me. Um, like I did this one, I punched this in Flirty Flamingo and I would have, I was like, well, you should have used Blushing Bright, Amy, because that was too dark for me. But if you're looking for a bolder look, then I would definitely go with the colored paper. I wanted to use white because I, I just needed the control. Not that I'm a control freak, but might be a little bit. All right, I'm gonna start with um, Blushing Bride and I'm gonna use our blending brushes. So here's the Blushing Bride. And I'm gonna do this, okay. Now I always go off to the side and rub a little off. I don't, I never want it too, too dark. And I'm just gonna brush it or rub it on here, which I think, I think this needs a little bit of, um, it probably needs some ink. All right. So there's Blushing Bride. <clears throat> I think I must be getting a cold. I got a frog in my throat this morning. I actually did this whole video last night because I was, uh, my husband's running in a, and son are running in a race today and we're celebrating my birthday, mine and my dad's birthday today. So I thought, I'm gonna do this video early. So I did everything, I did the whole video and I turned it around and it did not film. So I'm doing it this morning before we go to the race. I am not racing. I am the cheerleader for the race today. All right, so here's Blushing Bride, which is pretty, but I want a little bit of dimension, so I'm gonna add some Flirty Flamingo, okay? So I'm gonna do that. You can use the same brush, you can brush them out. You do not have to buy separate brushes for everyone. Um, you can have like a pink one, a blue one, um, and so for this, I'm going to kind of just brush around the edges. I'm not, um, I'm not going through whole flower on that one. And I'm going to um, really do that. Um, so I'm just going around the edges. There's a hair on there. I don't have short hair. All right. There's that one. And I see, I like the variation between these. I don't want them all exactly the same. I want things to be different. I want it to have, you know, a, a more organic look. And I couldn't really get that if I was starting with a full sheet of solid paper. Now, those are those. Now, the leaves I am going to do, um, I am going to show you because I'm going to do a little something extra on the leaves. With these, oh, I didn't do that part. Let me show you what I'm going to do to put those together. Hold on. Let me... Oh, goodness. Well, there it is. All right, so I'm going to take my Take Your Pick tool, and I'm going to curl around the flower. I'm going to bring it up. I want these to be nice and 3D. You know, I want, the, I want that look. So you're just going to take it, and I am using basic white. I'm not using basic white thick. I think this would be a little harder to make it 3D if it was thick. But if you have thick, and you wanna try that, I, th I say go for it. All right, so there's that one. Now I'm gonna do this one. Do a little flip of these. <clears throat> I don't know if these are meant to be layered or not on this. I, they, they might not be, but um, I layered them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're supposed to be three different flowers and you just put them on. But for me, I wanted 3D flowers. And so that's what I did. So I did that. All right, now I'm gonna get my glue, the glue that's not out, this one. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue right there. You don't need much glue, this glue is, is strong, okay? And there, and then another one right there, just like that. And I'm gonna push it down for just a second let it take hold and there you go so there's your flower I'm going to set that off to dry while we do the leaves okay because they're going to be I'm going to do them a little bit different I'm going to get this little um mat that's for stamping with pol photopolymer uh stamps and I wanted these to be more than just flat leaves I wanted them to have some texture to them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um uh, 
Oh my goodness, I can't figure out what this tool is called right now, but uh, this that comes with the, um, oh, my brain has just died. This embossing, uh, if you wanted to make embossing there, maybe this is an embossing tool. It's, it, maybe it's an embossing tool. Um, there is one that goes on to the take your pick tool, but this one, um, I don't have that one for some reason, or if I have, I don't know where it is. Anyway, I'm gonna make veins with this, okay? So I'm just going down the middle, and then I'm gonna go like this. And so when you add the ink, I, I, I'm hoping that it kind of um, brings that out a little bit, but I just wanted a little bit extra. The other flowers get there, they get, um, uh, you know, embellished by pulling them up and stuff. But I, I wanted the leaves to have that too. I wanted that little bit extra. And I'll be honest, I tried doing this on the flowers and, and uh, making that into the flowers, but it really didn't, it didn't make any difference. It didn't, it didn't add anything. And I was like, well, if I'm going to do it, I want it to, I want it to mean something. So, um, all right. So I didn't, I ended up not doing that. All right, let's do a couple more. Again, just little, just little, you know, leafy things, you know? And I'm obviously not trying to be perfect on this. This, this can be quick. Um, nobody's going to go, um, that's not straight. And if they do, then you don't like that person that much. That's not very nice. So. You don't need that person in your life. They're going to criticize your beautiful cards. All right, so here we go. I'm going to take those off. Don't do the next part on your thing because you, um, <laughs> you don't want that on there. All right, so now I'm going to use Pear Pizzazz. Now, I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm, only using, I'm only using one color on this, okay? Um, because with Pear Pizzazz, you can make this light, and you can make it dark. That is one thing I really love about this um, this color. So here we go. I'm gonna put it in here, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna rub off, okay? And I'm gonna do it kind of light over it. Ah, okay. There you go. So you're gonna kind of do it light. All right. Off and light. Okay. I'm always gonna take this first time. I'm gonna, after I after I do it, I'm gonna rub it off a little bit because I don't want it full strength. I just want this soft green, okay? I don't think I'm gonna need all of these, so I'm probably gonna only do about five or six. So then you don't get too bored. All right. All right. And again, I like that they're varied in color. I don't want them all the same. I can probably do a couple more with this right here. Um, I just like that look. I just, you know, it's handmade and everything's a little different. Okay, I think one, two, three. That's all I need. I don't need. I don't need nine. Okay, now, now I'm going full strength. I'm gonna go straight in. And then I'm gonna take this, oh, that's the top, and I'm gonna brush it along the edge. You see that? I'm going full strength for that edge. I don't know, I just like it. You don't have to do this, but I thought it was cool, so. Full strength, there you go. And this is gonna come off my finger, don't worry. See, it comes off. Maybe, it does. It's worth it. It's worth it. Comes right off of my fingernail, I will say that. Which I found is pool party. I think it's pretty pool party. Um, that's kinda, I was like, oh look, my nails are pool party. That was not on purpose. Okay, so there's my leaves. I just wanted to show you that. I wanted to make sure I did show you that part because I think that's a little bit different and I wanted you to see those veins and hopefully you can see how those veins come out like that. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to stamp happy birthday. Now, I just have a piece of, oh, what is this? Um, half inch piece of white that I had, honestly, 
these are left over from when I cut my uh, card pieces. And I'm using Artistically Inked. I love the um, simplicity of these, these um, happy birthday and the hello. I love that font. So I've got that right here. And I'm going to use Black Memento. I wanted it to show up. I tried using a color and it just didn't, it just didn't do it for me. So I'm going to do this. I'm not going to go to the very end because I am going to stamp a little, um, I'm going to do a little punch. All right. Oh, I think that's pretty, that's pretty straight for me. I did pretty good. All right. Now you can see I have a little extra here. I didn't measure this uh, because I don't usually measure stuff like that. Um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this punch, which I use all the time. Um, I love this punch. I'm using this one right here. I'm going to put it right in there. I'm not sure I want to go straight to the end. So there you go. And then you punch it. And then I'm probably going to take a little bit off of here. So I'm going to get this and I'm going to just take a little off my cutter. Just like that. Okay. I just, I just made that a little bit shorter. Okay. Now let's put this beautiful card together. All right. Let's move all this stuff. You know what? Let's do this. Let's, let's do a flip. Ta-da! Look at that. It's nice and pretty. Okay. Now, when I um, use do a, a base, I typically use basic white thick for that base card. So I did that today. I did basic white thick. Um, I just like it as a, a base. Okay. All right. So there's my this. And then I'm going to pull back this. And I'm going to put this like this. I've done it both ways with the blue on both sides. But I'm going to use blue ribbon. And I, I kind of want it there because I don't want it to, I don't want it to be too blue. So you can see on this one, I flipped it. And I felt like there was too much blue. And then this way, I did it where the pink was on this side. And there was, I, I liked that better. You could do it however you want. If you want to heavy on the blue, then go there. Okay. Oh, oh, hold on. I didn't finish my beautiful flowers to make them beautiful flowers. All right. This one is done in only so saffron. And then these little guys are done in... I started with pool party and then I brushed with coastal cabana, but that doesn't look good. That needs a little something extra, right? So you can use whatever you have. If you have embellishments, I mean, you can use, well, I wouldn't use those. You can use silver. You can use um, the iridescent looks beautiful. If you wanted to use these, you could use these. I've used these. Anything you have of embellishments, you can use. But these um, frosted dies are ones that are going to be available um, on the first. And I just loved the frosted. I just thought they were beautiful. So I'm going to just put a little dot of glue in here. Okay, for that. So I'll just go ahead and have that glue. And then I'm going to put them on. Now, I am going to be honest, I am very, very clumsy at this. So, I'm going to see if I can do this. Ah, oh, look. Hey, Amy, you did pretty good. I'm going to use these. Okay. These are from the um, embossing kit. I don't want to use that one. It's too small. I want the larger ones. Get off. All right, look at this beautiful pink. Oh, I love that pink. Let me get another yellow. I'll put a yellow on there. And then I'm gonna do the other one's pink because the pink is by far my favorite. Boy, I wish I had done this um, three cards ago. Use the these little tools. All right, push them down in there. And look at that, ah, I don't know if these are magnetic or what. Okay, 
I think they may have a little glue on them. Let's do this. Let's, oh, hold on. Let's do, look at that pearl. Isn't that so pretty? I just love this. I think it's, I think they're beautiful. Now they do have a darker one in here, but I just felt like it was a little too dark for the card. And that is, um, I believe that's Pretty Peacock. So I love that. Oh, I don't know. I hope that color comes back for a long time because I uh, think it's a gorgeous color. All right, now let's do our card. Now let's put this on. I've got my stamp and seal. If I have enough, we'll see. It may run out. And if it does, that's okay. I like it to run out when I'm on camera because I want to show you how to do a new one because not everybody knows. And I don't want you to be like, I don't want to do that. All right, so there's that. Now I've got my frame. Now I want this lifted up. So I'm going to use um, these. And again, look, I'm at the end. Don't throw this away. Cut it. Use them. Here we go. Okay. Now these are not the scissors I'm supposed to use. These are my good ribbon cutting scissors. They're my gingers. But I'm going to be honest. We had career day at school this week. Um, dress as your future career. And um, as I said, I'm a school librarian. And I dressed as a uh, uh, card maker. <laughs> so I had my little apron and I had a bunch of stuff in it. And, you know, uh, my scissors in there so I could, you know, bring them out at the drop of the hat. And I forgot them at school. I must have taken them out of there for something. And I, yeah, forgot them. So when I get back to school on Monday, I will get them. All right. I probably used more than I would normally use. I don't think you probably need this many, but, you know, it's okay. Ah, it goes off. <laughs> I'm a little clumsy at this. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I put on way more than I needed, but that's okay. Okay, now here's the hardest part for me is getting this on straight. Hold on. It's not quite. It needs to be moved over just a little bit. Okay. That's it. Okay. So there's that. Whew, got that done. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my flowers on. I'm going to put my pinks here. Okay. I think I want my yellow down here because I'm going to have blue ribbon here. And so I'm doing all my big ones here. And then I'm just going to do this blue one right there. Okay, so that's where they're going to go. Are you not centered? That's okay. All right. And honestly, I am just going to, I think I moved that little guy. Probably should have done that earlier, huh? Um, Let's see. Maybe I'll put it on here. Oop. I keep moving that little circle. Sorry. I'm sorry. There we go. Now, once you get these on here, you're going to be able to really pull up the um, color or the uh, leaves. But until you get them set down, you it's it's really hard to, to do that. I, I tried. I, I was not successful. So I messed that up a little bit. Okay. I put that there. Okay. I'm waiting for the, I'm gonna do the leaves at the very end. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the ribbon on and I am using this pool party ribbon, which I think is gorgeous. It is in the mini catalog. And here's what I'm gonna do. I am just gonna kinda go like this. All right. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, 
and four. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little bit more right here for four. And then I'm gonna cut it off, right? Like, hold on, I'm gonna do that like that. And then I'm gonna cut that off. And that is how I put the ribbon on. The next thing I'm gonna do is my happy birthday. Now I kind of already have a little bit of um, adhesive right here to put it on, but I'm gonna put some, um, since this has popped up and I'm gonna put it here and over, I'm gonna use dimensionals, okay? Again, I'm gonna use my scissors, which I'm really not supposed to use these on this, but that's okay. My husband just had them sharpened for me. He's so wonderful. He found a guy online to do for me. And if your um, if your scissors do get dull, because scissors do get dull, you can't always take them. If your snips, if your uh, stamp and snips do that, you could always take them to somebody and have them um, uh, sharpen them. And there's my happy birthday. Okay, so there's that. Cute, but let's put some leaves on there. And see, I just think that little bit of, you know, dimension with those leaves really adds something. So I know I want one there. Let's do one up at the top. And he can go kind of, well, I don't want to go too far out of the thing. So there. And then let's do two here. Okay. Ah. Well, let's see. There we go. I think it's got it running again. Let's do one here. And then let's do another one. Right there. And I'm gonna pull them up just a little bit so they've got a little more dimension. And then we're gonna do some down here. We can't leave the bottom out. I always tend to go less on the bottom than on the top. I, I don't know why. That's just kind of, um, that's kind of what I do. I don't know. I don't know if that's right, but there you go. So there you go. Now I'm going to wait until these insides uh, do, and then you can flip it. But there is, there's my card. I hope you like that. I hope that makes you happy. Now I'm going to tell you, I did do one on, um, pool party. So I did this one on pool party. And this was actually the first one I did. And you can see I used all different kinds of um, dimensionals on that just because I wanted to see it. So if you want a, a look of the pool party in the background, that's what that looks like. So you can always do that as well if you didn't want to do the white on white. I hope that you had have a fantastic week this week. Um, for me, it's a short week. We have President's Day off tomorrow. So if you have that day off, enjoy. And I hope that this week brings you joy and happiness. Um, send a card to somebody. Bring, bring joy to someone else. Have a fantastic week and do something crafty. Bye.